Hey YouTube, this is Darren, and this is my channel, Wide Open Throttle Canada. And this is my walk around and review on my 2016 Polaris 850, Scrambler 850. Alright, so I have about 2,680 kilometers on this bike. I've owned it new since December of 2016, and... The upgrades I have done has been the reverse chain. I've upgraded that because I broke it trying to back out of a mud hole. A two inch prefix lift kit. Got it from ATV Tires Canada. And then um, the pinion, the front pinion cover upgrade. I got that from some guys out of Quebec and their business is called Custom Moto Quad. Great guys, you can find them on YouTube. It's way down in there. Let's see here. Um, other upgrades. Okay, so if you don't want to uh, buy bearings every couple of years or something like that get one of these things I got this is off of eBay uh, 14 bucks and it's a 44 mil and it goes across over your you can take your wheel off take the hub off and then you just slide that right over top of the axle and what it does is it greases your bearings definitely uh, something to invest in you know Polaris bearings here in Canada are about uh, 60 bucks a piece, so I suggest getting that. Um, stock up on bushings. Every bushing on this bike here has been replaced except for the shock bushings. I upgraded to a little bit better than stock, and they are EPI. I got them off of Amazon. Uh, that's time-consuming. If you don't want to replace them every year, there is another brand out there that everybody has been talking about, and it's called DK Off-Road, a guy from Edmonton, Alberta. Try them out. Uh, other upgrades is uh, I went to an LED headlight, by far the best I've ever had. Uh, very, They're the same uh, bulb type as my Dodge Ram. And they've also been very good in my truck. Um, winch. The 850s don't come with a winch. They don't come with power steering. Or Fox shocks. These shocks are really good. Very plush, smooth. Very nice and comfortable. The winch I got from Canadian Tire about three years ago. And it's a 45, no, 4,000 pound winch. And it was 179 bucks. And like I said, I haven't had any issues with it. I did upgrade the wire rope to a synthetic rope. And, uh, you know, you have to maintain them. Like, if you get them wet, you have to maintain them. Pull them out as far as you can and then let them dry if you can. If you have a heated shop, etc. I also upgraded to an all balls, heavy duty tie rod ends and shaft. And that has taken a lot of play out of the steering. Other common problems that you'll probably find is the steering stem bushing. I haven't done the modification on this. You can get a sway bar link uh, from your local Napa or auto parts store. I'm sorry I don't have the link for it. Or maybe, no, I don't have it. Um, the steering stem bushing is just um, plastic and they tend to wear and they get sloppy that one's not too bad I haven't done the model myself yet so you can just modify it it's almost exactly the same size as steering bushing and uh, you go to a polyurethane rubber bushing and you can grease them uh, other upgrades I've done on this, I've done a big gun EXO stainless. I got this as a free replacement from big gun because I had their regular 
cheap one. I'm saying cheap. They are about 400 bucks by the time you get it up here to Canada. This one here, this one's about 600 bucks. Luckily for me that they uh, replaced it as an upgrade. Um, for storage, I've done a gun case I got from Princess Auto. 36 bucks. I've had it on here since new. It's lined and everything, so I put my tools at the bottom and then at the top I put um, like food and water and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, other things too, like if you're into riding water and stuff like I am, yes, I don't have it snorkeled, but I go within its limitations. I would suggest hmm I forgot what I was going to say okay we'll come back to that if I remember it I went to these uh, Princess Auto LED lights they've been really good as well and they help when you're out on the trails or out in the bush okay hmm Get yourself a battery maintainer. After every ride, I plop that sucker on and, uh, you know, I haven't had any real issues. I do get a low warning on my dash. I either need a new stator or a voltage regulator. At this time, I really don't want to screw around with any of that. So with the two inch lift, I added these 29 and a half inch outlaws. They measure exactly 29 inches. Uh, to clear the back here, I had to run an inch and a half spacer. I got those from uh, Amazon. I think they're called uh, back country or out country. 42 bucks, free shipping. Well, can't complain about that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Stock up on brake pads. For whatever reason, they, uh, they chew through brake pads really quick. Um, oh yeah. Back to what I was going to talk about. The spark plug wires. So if you have any issues when you're going through water, um, and it just kind of starts spittering and sputtering, the problem with that is uh, spark plug wires seem to touch each other and they arc out, or if they're touching the case of the engine block, uh, it seems to do the same thing. So if you can get those away from each other and away from the block, you'll have less issues. Also dialect grease everything you can possibly find that's going to be electrical and uh, you should be good to go. I haven't had any issues since I've change a few things so if you guys have any questions by all means comment below um hit subscribe and uh hit the bell like share with your friends any other questions you have for me on this bike uh let me know thanks a lot have a good day